this is Professor Urbis White. This is an orientation for my Summer Math 353 class. You can access IVC's webmail and all the information from ivc.edu. You can access your email, your Canvas, your class management, and my webpage. My web pages are under academics, under math. Um, you can get my entire schedule there and all the information. However, there are no office hours in the summer. You can get help in the math center. That's in B363. It's free. Please check the hours. They will update that link for you to actually physically go and get help. If you have computer problems, access 5696 extension. Here's the phone number. If you run into problems with Pearson, that's where your all your um, homework and quizzes and all that ebook are going to be available. This is the phone number, option one, for troubleshooting all the information that you can get help. Now, you need to finish your orientation by 6.19, 6 o'clock, by accessing the Canvas, doing the contract entry survey, and email me that you did that. And then you have to purchase access from Pearson. I'll show you how that's done by that time. If you cannot do these things, make sure that you attend the orientation not to be dropped. Now, the orientation will be June 19, Friday, 6 to 7 in Bistic 103. Now, let's go inside Canvas so that you can understand how this class runs. You have to enter your username and password and access the class from Canvas dashboard. I would like you to get a printout of your handouts by accessing modules and clicking in here and understand all my grading procedures and all the guidelines they are in the syllabus. Now inside Canvas after you get the syllabus access assignments and do contract and entry survey. Now if you click on the contract, make sure you understand all the guidelines and mark true. And for the survey, you have to access the survey and then enter all the information I require you to have. Then you can also go inside Canvas after watching this video and access this, these PowerPoints and all the slides and you can get even a printout. Now, you need to buy Pearson Access to do this class. This is separate from your registration fee. For that, in Canvas, you have to access My Lab and Mastering. Then you have to click on eText Course. At that point, it's going to give you this screen and it will say, okay, do you want to purchase it with the credit card or access code? Access code is purchased from IVC Bookstore or you can just purchase it online directly right here. You have to enter your name. Please make sure that your name is consistent with what I would see in my roster. And the email address that you need to enter in there needs to be IVC or Salback email address. Now, if you are purchasing the access through access code after purchasing it from the bookstore, you click here. Please do not use the temporary access just to try it out because this class is in demand and then I don't want you to take up somebody else's access and kind of change your mind before the class starts. Now, um, you can get support from this number 
And then if you have Canvas problems, you can get support from this phone number. Now please understand that you have to buy a permanent access code and complete entry survey and email me after you did all this before 619. If you cannot finish that, please make sure that you come in. If you come in, then you have until 621 to finish all your orientation requirements. Now, like I said, you have to do the entry survey contract and email me you did all this and make sure that you purchase the permanent access to my math lab. Now, how do you do this class after getting all this done? You have to watch the videos, you have to read your book, you have to do the homework and do quizzes and something called discussion board and email me regularly, that's in your timeline. And then getting a point for just emailing me, that's part of your grade. Now, once you get in to Canvas, you can get the syllabus and make sure that you understand all the guidelines that are there. Then you can go and access My Lab and Mastering and click on Open My Math Lab and Mastering link to get in after you register and pay. Now, the first thing you need to do is watch the videos. How do you do that? Um, you, this is the Canvas link. There are all these YouTube videos in there and then there is a link there is a list on the first page videos you need to watch. Now, the mandatory class videos are inside Pearson. I use the My Math Lab and Pearson interchangeably. And there is a list in there for the videos that you need to watch. So what you do for that, you go to My Lab and Mastering and then open that and then go to multimedia and then pick the chapter that you need to watch and then when you do search make sure you put the video button in here and then it will give you a list and click on the video and watch it now in addition to that you may want to watch YouTube class videos and those are in the home page in Canvas you can click on them and the list is also here on this page. Now another way to access my YouTube videos is to go to my YouTube channel and type my name and it will give you the entire list. Now I recommend that you start with beginning algebra. If you need to get more help, you can watch the 350 modules and the arithmetic videos just to refresh your memory with mathematics. How do you read your book? Again, that's inside Pearson or My Math Lab. So you get in inside Pearson and then here you have to click on chapter contents. And now once you read your book, you have to do your homework. For that again, you have to go to My Math Lab and click and enter and then you click on the homework and now you'll see this homework list and you're going to click on it and then finish it before deadline. Now what do you do after homework? You're going to take your quizzes. That's again inside Pearson. Then you have to go in assignments and then at this point the quizzes can only be taken once and make sure that you, when you open your quiz, you submit it and you give your best effort. Now, right before your midterm and final, I, you are going to take something called drills, and that's inside Pearson as well. You go inside Pearson, and then you can see in the test and area, you will see your midterm drill and final drill. You also need to communicate with me and your peers. To communicate with me, you have to go and email from the IVC or Cellback site. Please do not use your personal email like Cox or uh, Yahoo. 
then you have to go to the student email area and then use iwhite at ivc.edu you can pull that up anytime it's just kind of like uh, make sure that you um, know my address and then put in subject area math 353 online and then tell me your progress and these have deadlines after you do that in a form like an, a typical email may look like this your name give me your student number and tell me what you are you know experiencing if you are experiencing any difficulty now um, you can you have to access Pearson for chapter quizzes also for email quizzes after you email me when you pull that quiz area you will see like email one email two you have to click on it and you have to say yes you know I emailed my teacher and then that will give you automatically one point only emailing me will not earn you any points you have to mark true yes I did email my teacher and then you're all done it will record it in addition to that you need to do discussion board question and that's inside canvas when you go to assignments you see those discussions they have deadlines and you have to actually post the answer to a question and then you have to post a critic to a, f a classmate of yours and then give them feedback about their response now to post the discussions you have to pull the discussion up by clicking on it and typing it in here now make sure that you don't forget to post in addition one of your classmates response now in addition to doing all this work on your own you have to come we talked about orientation already <clears throat> you have to come in for midterm on this date and here's the location here's the time and here's the final here's the location here's the date here's the time make sure you do not have a conflict with another class this is the first week because you need to come to those at, at these dates to IVC now I will send you in this video prior to June 19 make sure that you finish all the requirements I'm asking you to do if you cannot you have to come on June 19 to the orientation now your mandatory midterm is going to be July 13 6 to 8 in this location make sure you have a picture ID and a scantron with you I'll give you detailed information a little later and the final will be on August 10 6 to 8 again at the same location make sure you bring your picture ID and calculator and scantron thank you for watching